Hi guys, this is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com and today we're going to be taking a look at Android 2.3, also known as Gingerbread. It's going to be available soon on the Samsung-built Google Nexus S smartphone. Some of the obvious changes you'll notice in the Gingerbread UI is that the status line up at the top is now black. Um, helps with, uh, see more dark colors in general because it helps with power savings on Super AMOLED displays like that on the Nexus S. You notice the use of uh, green for the signal strength bars as well. Uh, easier to see, especially on a colorful Super AMOLED display. Take a look at the things here. Also a little bit changed. Um, again, more use of dark colors, a little bit sharper lines. Go back to the home screen. If you look at the the bottom, the uh, box here with the controls here, also use of green and um, sharper corners. Still not entirely sharp corners, but just less rounded than you see here on Froyo on the left. Gingerbread has some added task manager functionality in it. Bring up the menu here and I go to manage apps. Of course it shows you all the apps that are in the system and things you've downloaded and such, but if you go to the running tab, um, it gives you pretty quick access for shutting down certain applications. So I can hit here and I can stop it. And now the settings is no longer running, no longer consuming um, resources potentially. Another one of the changes in terms of the user interface on Gingerbread you'll notice um, is seen when you're on a list. Notice that when I try to drag past the top of the list to get that bit of color up at the top. Uh, I can of course see the same thing at the very bottom. It's just a subtle indication to tell you that there's no more to scroll to. And one last cool UI change on Gingerbread uh, is seen when you power off the device. It looks like an old television, you know, just as it fades into the center and forms a sharp line. I'll do it again. It's kind of cool. Bring up the main menu here, and you can see the uh, improved 3D look of it. It's kind of cool. And while we're here, let's bring up the uh, totally new YouTube application. It's quite cool. I'm going to search on Mobile Burn just so I can get to some stuff I'm familiar with. My own video here recently posted and you'll see we've got this nice new view here it's gonna start playing I'll turn down the volume a little bit it's playing you know we can pause it and you've got these tabs for going through comments and things like that but you can also swipe to move between them I have to admit the swiping didn't always work for me in other parts of the YouTube app but it seems to work pretty well here if you're signed in you know you have to add an account but if you're signed in then you can you know, say that you like it or something, and there's other functionality here too, you know, favoriting, sharing, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to jump back to the home screen here just so you can see what else it looks like. You know, again, you just easily tap on something and you can see related videos. Uh, this one says somebody had a bad accident on a German show called um, Betten Das, just like we saw before. There's also a button here for uh, quickly going into the video record mode. Now there's no HD video on this device, just like uh, most of the stock Android devices. So recording something here, we're done. And it's going to ask us to sign in so we can upload it directly to YouTube, which is pretty cool. And there are other sections you can look at as well. You know, my channel, you can browse through various categories. switch tabs and again you should be able to swipe and then there's some settings and we'll turn on high quality mode just for the future but uh, much improved YouTube experience with this application another much talked about feature of uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread is the NFC system this is an NFC card it's meant to be stuck on a window or something like that and you can see recommended on a uh, Google, you know, Google Places icon there. All I have to do is hold the phone up to it and it automatically launches the Tags application. It shows you we've got two links here. We can either watch the link in YouTube or watch it in the browser. So I'm just going to tap here on YouTube and bring it up. We're just in the YouTube app. You can see here's the backstory for the Nexus S. And something I didn't show you before, all I have to do is rotate the device to get to the full screen mode. So you have a lot more flexibility now in how you view the videos, but of course, you know, NFC is um, nothing but potential right now. It's not really being used very much anywhere in the United States. 
although it is being heavily used in other countries for things like um, payments and such. There is yet more to see in terms of video though. This is uh, the first version of Android to support the new Google WebM video format. So, I mean, it's not going to look much different to you, but this is actually a WebM um, VP8 encoded video stream. And just to show you again how that works, right now I'm in uh, Google Images. I'm going to view in full size an uh, old image of mine, actually. Long press on it, and I'm going to save it. You can see it's being downloaded. Downloads have downloads uh, completed here. And if we go back to the download app, you'll see there it is again. You can tap on it, of course, to bring it up into the image viewer. Another difference with Gingerbread has to do with the camera. Um, this is nothing special here. I'm just, you know, taking a picture of a toy that's on the floor. But if I go into settings here and with the menu button and hit switch camera, you'll notice that there is built-in support for the forward-facing camera. This can actually be used for video calling. There's a native SIP um, VoIP support in Gingerbread where the, we didn't see that before in other versions of Android. You had to use something like Kick or uh, Fring or things like that. So hopefully we'll see uh, video versions of Google Talk in the near future and um, be able to take advantage of that quite easily. There are a few new live wallpapers. This one's called Microbes and basically anywhere you tap on the screen will create food and the various different colored microbes will swarm around it and start eating and eventually they'll grow and then die and you'll see dead shells of microbes, microbes fall down across the screen. Also when you tap on them it scares them away and so it eventually it forms little rings around where the microbes And this is the new Nexus live wallpaper, very similar to the one originally seen on the Nexus 1. 